Hello and welcome back to Life's Biggest Questions. I'm Ron McKenzie Lafergie. We've all gone a day or two without showering, and the campers out there have probably gone a bit longer. However, most of us can agree that never showering would lead to some unfortunate, not to mention smelly, problems. But what if you stopped altogether? Let's explore. Make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any videos. Now hold your nose, it's time to ask the question, what happens if you never shower? First of all, let's remove one quick loophole from this question. This includes baths. So to all you ragamuffins out there who thought you had the perfect loophole, Pole, back to the drawing board. And if anyone comments that they would take baths, feel free to laugh at them for not watching the video. Let's start with the issue on everyone's mind smell. If you've ever gone a while without showering, or worse yet, walked past someone who's done so, you'll know that it can lead to some pretty funky smells. Surprisingly, this is not just because of sweat. Certain types of sweat, like that produced when under stress, can often have an odor to them, but sweat from exertion generally does not cause a stench on its own. However, without showering, bacteria will build up and begin to break down the keratin protein on your skin. This, along with other factors like dirt and smelly substances, causes those who never shower to have a rather powerful odor. But that's not all the bacteria would do. It may sound gross, but the skin is covered in bacteria, known as skin flora. At any given time, there could be 1,000 species of bacteria on your skin. For the most part, these are beneficial, but there are some harmful bacteria that find their way onto your skin. These are normally discarded with regular bathing, but if you never showered, they would build up and could cause skin disease. Furthermore, if the wrong type of bacteria finds a way into the bloodstream, it can result in horrible infections, such as necrotizing fasciitis. Never showering would also lead to a number of skin problems. In the short term, your skin would become more oily and dirty, since you wouldn't be washing off the normal amounts of oil and dirt that you accumulate. This can, however, bring about a number of other issues in the long term. You could see an increase in acne, with more oil, bacteria, and skin cells around to clog up your hair follicles. This buildup would also bring about itching and irritation of the skin. One of the most disturbing results of never showering is a potential to develop brown spots on your body. This is called dermatitis neglecta, meaning neglect of the skin. The accumulation of corneocytes, sebum, and sweat can form plaque-like lesions on the skin, and unsurprisingly, looks really gross. So if you stop showering, you could find yourself looking less like George of the Jungle and more like Pigpen from Peanuts. You would also miss out on a number of beneficial effects of showering. Studies have found showering to help reduce muscle tension, boost the immune system, improve blood circulation, reduce stress, and even help to treat depression. These are all relatively small effects, but pretty impressive nonetheless. This also means that you wouldn't be able to wash off particularly messy spills. Just finish a soccer game? No shower for you, you own that sweat. Fall in a mud puddle? Time to bust out the moist towelettes, this might take a while. That said, showerlessness is not without its benefits. Showering does cause some damage to the body, particularly when using harsh soaps and shampoos. Washing one's body with soap and hot water can strip your skin of its natural oils and kill the beneficial bacteria that supports the immune system. Showering also dries out the skin, and those who shower too often tend to have issues in this area. The heat and harsh shampoos also cause damage to the hair, which can reach a very healthy state without showering. However, most of the benefits of showerlessness can be gained simply from showering in moderation and keeping the temperature relatively low, so there's no need to stop bathing altogether. However, life for non-showerers may not be the smelly wasteland that some believe. Taking time off showering allows one's body to restore the natural ecosystems of bacteria found on the skin. This is often claimed to counter the smelly effects of sweat, allowing the body to do what it was meant to do and smell like a person. Unfortunately, the body wasn't designed to make us smell like Old Spice, and as stated earlier, our noses aren't accustomed to the naturally smelly odor of the human animal. This brings us to another point. Many of these non-showerers believe that they eventually stop smelling. This is not exactly the case. If you've ever met someone that doesn't shower, you may notice that they don't smell quite as normal as they think they do. This is largely because the person becomes accustomed to their own odor rather than the odor actually going away. So if you stop showering, you'd probably stop smelling yourself eventually, but the same can't be said for other people. And now we return to our question, what happens if you never shower? Well, the resulting buildup of bacteria, dirt, oil, and dead skin on the body could bring about a number of skin conditions like acne or dermatitis neglecta, or even lead to a flesh-eating infection. And, obviously, you will start to smell. While there are some benefits from a lack of showers, they seem to be outweighed by the potential problems. This is, of course, a personal decision, but if you work in close quarters and don't shower, you may want to invest in some deodorant. Thank you for watching Life's Biggest Questions. I hope this was interesting and informative, and maybe even inspired you to look into it further on your own. If you like this video, please thumbs up and subscribe to the channel down below. While you're down there, let me know the longest you've gone without a shower in the comments section. Until next time, I'm Ron McKenzie Lafergie with Life's Biggest Questions. Wishing you the best of luck on your quest for answers.